And here is another uh, order that is in my top three or favorite orders. That is um, the epitome of my transition from freelance to independent, where my whole career is based on just my own imagination and creations. And so with this one, it was a full feedback rain, which is my ultimate um, epitome of that transition. And I decided for the first time, instead of a brand new character, this is actually a character I've had in mind for a while. And even, they're not really freshed out now, but um, she's basically the love interest of a vampire, spelled P-H-A-M, uh, empire, like P-R, right? <laughs> so, uh, but anyway, so it's this story I want to do and a short story if I get enough benefit supporters and it's basically about a stud vampire and a stud is basically a, a woman who's just very masculine so and they're not trans they're women they're just um, masculine and um and so and I thought think and I wanted the story of two studs getting together because you rarely see that well at least I've never seen it in a comic ever and so that's what um, I want to do <laughs> and I want and I always wanted to see uh, one of the fantasy creature humanoid creatures um, be more less cliche you know so I have my own um, thing about that it's it's like it'd probably be a mid uh story a mid comic size rather than a short comic because there are like levels to it but anyway um so she is the love interest of the main character who's also a stud and um oh and <laughs> and with this fashion at first i was just gonna have them with uh the usual sports bra but then I was like nah and because it just wasn't looking white and so I just kept going to design something and I didn't think of it until earlier today that oh I would love to be able to design um, masculine bras for studs or anyone who's looking for a more masculine bra and I think and that would be cool like rather than just settle for you know a fucking sports uh, sports bra and um but instead like have it be like actual design like um so i'm thinking this would be cool as actual design where it's still um where it's definitely masculine but it just supports the boobs you know and so you don't have to deal with the frilly uh, feminine um bras and shit and um i would be wearing both i would rock both because i love uh, lace pretty bras where I like showing those off so <laughs> but I don't have any shirts that are see-through but I need more but anyway uh so oh and also with so I knew I wanted the character to be melanin and so I made them it doesn't really matter too much in the story if it comes up it'll come up um in some natural way but <laughs> if you were ever curious on what her ethnicity is, she's Romani. And um, and she's maybe like 300 years old. And um, so she's like approaching middle age. And um, I'm thinking with my vampires, the older vampires, they don't give a fuck. They're completely apathetic. They don't care about society bullshit. It's mainly young vampires, like a hundred to about three hundred, who like try to make some kind of society and um, government type things. But like the older ones, they could give a fuck. <laughs> and so, um, but she's still young enough that she could tolerate and she um, participates in like the society type things. And so, um, and it's not that the young ones kick the old ones out or anything. So, like, if an older vampire, like, say, 500 was to go to a club, they'll be, like, the old guy who's, like, trying to act young. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck are you doing here? Uh, but anyway, 
But um, I don't think I have a name for her yet. Um, but uh, yeah, I love. Yeah, I'm thinking she loves gold, and she loves the color blue. And so um, I gave her the the gold sneakers. It's these sneakers. They're gold. They're, these aren't exactly them, but um, I thought of the gold sneakers that. Uh, so and with her eyes, so her eyes are actually bright blue, and the scalia is usually black with vampires, but she dyed it um, blue, and so but in time it goes away. <laughs> so uh, their tattoos don't last; they like fade away. So she dyed it blue this time, and ah, I I hope I get to make that comic someday. But thank you so much; I really enjoyed it. Thank you. Bye.